So I saw a panel of women essentially trying to make the argument that they're all beautiful, they're all well accomplished, intelligent, successful women, and they're having such a hard time finding men. And they don't understand why. Well, let me clear it up. Men who are in your exact shoes have plenty of women to select from because they're not trying to find their equal. They're trying to find someone who's gonna be a good complement to what they've already got going on. You standing in their shoes of being successful, high income, all these other things are looking for an equal, which means your choices are gonna be a lot slimmer. Not to mention those men who you seek, you're not looking for any old man, you're looking for a specific man. And what are the odds that that specific man is sitting around waiting for you? Not only that, they don't want women like that because women that are successful, they have all this stuff going on. It took a lot of masculine energy for them to get that, get that way to, to get those things. And they can never turn that off when they come home. They still want to be the boss. They still want to be the masculine dominant figure and they want everything to be their way. And one thing she said before that, she said that men have a lot of options. You know, rich men might have options, but they don't have options that are worth anything. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of women are just out for what these men have. So even though a man might be rich and he might be getting attention from women and all of that, it doesn't mean that the, the women that he's getting that attention from is quality because let's be honest, the majority of modern women today are just, you know, they're gold diggers. Well, maybe that's it. Maybe she's just a gold digger. It's all about them. They're all, it's all about uh, getting what they can get from a man. Women don't understand this and I don't understand why. So I'm gonna spell it out. You're gonna be alone and you're gonna be very unhappy even with all of your money and all of your success and all of your accolades because you're not understanding that if you wanna be the one who goes out and gets all the stuff that you need in order to thrive in this economy, you're gonna end up with a partner who's gonna compliment you. You're not gonna end up with an equal. That's just the facts. And that's something that men understand very well. Why is it so hard for women? It's hard for women because you have so many women and shout out to this, this young lady here for, you know, speaking the truth, but you have so many women that say the opposite of this, right? You have so many women that champion the whole thought process of just go find a rich man, just go use a rich man or, and, um, you know, get your career first, you know, get your money first, get your house first, get your car first, do all this stuff. And then you'll just find a man that's going to fall into that. Well, any man with any kind of traditional values is not going to want to deal with that because if, if a man gets in a relationship with a woman that's super successful, wh what is he supposed to do? What, what's his job? You know what I'm saying? What, where's his masculinity going to shine? Because the woman is doing all the masculine things, right? Not to mention she's probably very disagreeable. And again, she wants everything to be her way and all of that. So that's just a headache. The men that are successful are not going to deal with that. Men that are successful will date a woman from McDonald's. A woman on the bus stop. Men date down all the time. Women date up and across, never down, because the men that are down are not worth their time. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. There's a lot of attractive people, a lot of attractive men everywhere, right? Women pass them up all the time because they don't meet that certain criteria. Not to mention the six feet tall, the certain type of body, you know, no kids, uh, and all these types, loves dogs, etc., etc., etc. So there's always, there's already all these conditions. You know what I mean? Men don't want to deal with all of that. It's just too much. That's why a lot of men just shy away from that. And men have been telling women for years that their success doesn't mean anything, but women want to listen to other women first. They don't want to listen to that woman. They want to listen to the woman that feeds their narrative, that gives them a permission slip to act accordingly, to act that way. Stop it. Get some help. These women right here get thrown under the bus. She, she'll be called a pick me. She'll be called, oh, you're young, you're, pu you're pretty, you don't have to worry about it. She'll get attacked, and I'm sure she has on this video. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this subject, because, you know, it comes up a lot. And I think that if, you know, women could understand this more, then it would help the dating scene. But 
I'm just me and I'm just one person. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, share, comment, do all that good stuff. And as always, I appreciate you. Thanks a lot and have a good day. Peace. May the force be with you.